Hi, this is Camila from Polygon Commerce, and in this tutorial, I'm going to explain to you how to edit or customize product pages on the new Shopify 2.0 themes. As you can see, this is the main dashboard of a Shopify store that we are using as an example. So whenever we want to modify product pages, we need to go on our left corner below sales channel and click on online store. This will show us all the themes. As you can see, this is the published theme. And if we scroll down, we will be able to see all the themes that are installed on this store. In this case, we're going to work on the motion theme. So we click on customize. As you can see, this will open the theme editor for the homepage. But in this case, if we want, as we want to work on the product pages, we need to click here, go to products and click on default product. This will open our default product page. And um, as you can see, we will be able to modify all the product information that appears on the product page. So for example, we can hide the price. We can move it like to any other place, any other position. Um, we can hide the description or show the description, or even we can add any other blog and add another information that we're going to. Also, we can match the apps that we have installed into the Shopify store. So for example, if we have a product reviews app installed, we can add the reviews and the store rate by um, clicking on the add section or add blog and matching the app into the theme. Another important thing to mention is that um, this new 2.0 themes allow us to add sections into our product pages. So if we scroll down below the product information, we will be able to see like, for example, this hero banner with information or the testimonial sections or also any product recommendations. So we can remove the testimonials if we want to or show them again. We can add any other section too, like for example, if we click on add section, you're going to add any of these sections into a product page. And this will be shown dynamically on all the other products. So for example, if we add um, a feature product or we can also add um, any blog post, this will also be shown dynamically on all the other products. That is everything for today. Thank you so much and I'll see you next tutorial.